It's so widely known that Gen Z is a very apathetic bunch, and I mean, why wouldn't we be? The economy sucks, the gaming industry sucks, people online are weird and suck, relationships suck. What doesn't suck is the real question. There's very few things Zoomers have to look forward to, and waking up tomorrow morning is not one of them. So I guess I should introduce myself. I'm Tragedy TV, but if that's too formal, you can call me Ginger. I'm known for many things, but the thing, you know, people usually remember me for is my buttery voice and my very refined and tasteful sense of humor. Well, take a look. Also, I'd recommend hitting that dislike button if you didn't, because sometimes the Viagra doesn't cut it, and the only way I can get it up is by looking at the mean comments I get from people without a brain. That way I can show a passionate night of love to my Giovanna body pillow. I know, I'm very classy. On another note, my mom got upset with me, you know, the other day because I said I needed to take a piss. And she said that wasn't very proper, and I said like, well, mom, British people say piss. Clearly, it's very classy, mother, and you're simply the unclassy one. Is unclassy even a word? Hold on. Holy shit, it is. Oh, right, back to the discussion. It's a weird topic for me personally because I used to struggle with apathy and not having the will so badly. And I mean, it's not like I'm devoid of it. I'm still at least a bit apathetic. I guess I'm just more, you know, functional now. It doesn't have the same hold over me that it used to. And I guess that's what this video is for, is talking about the things that I've done and, you know, that I still currently do that have helped me, you know, regain control of my life. Because it's just so easy to feel useless and mundane and worthless in our loud and noisy world. But listen to me, friend. You aren't as useless as you feel. You're only as useless as you allow yourself to be, as you choose for yourself to be. As long as you try, you'll never be useless. So into my tips or advice for helping take back your life from the corrosive apathy that feels so natural to cling on to. I think the biggest thing is probably meditation. Basically what meditation really is at its core is taking a moment to completely just let go of everything. It's to let go of yourself, your thoughts of yourself, the labels others attach to you, the control the past has over you. It allows you to finally feel free in a sense. And almost every night while I go to bed I put on some guided sleep meditation video to not only help me sleep but also to, you know, really relax and, you know, get that in. I've done this for about two to three years now, and I can say firsthand that it helps a lot. Learning to trust yourself, learning that there's no secret part of you that's evil and just waiting to, you know, snap someday. You know, it's it's a thing I think everyone needs to learn. For the next one, it's living authentically. It's not filtering yourself or catering to the others around you. It's allowing yourself to act like the person you want to be, the person you are on the inside. Having the courage to just be you you know, openly. It won't get you as much friends, but the friends that you do get from this will be a lot more meaningful and special. They'll get you. Nextly, it's to give up on the idea that a romantic or sexual relationship will fix anything with you about your life, because it won't. Don't get me wrong, a nice partner is nice, but think of it more as like the cherry on top. They won't fix anything that's already wrong with you. And I think another thing is to find at least one good best friend that you would like ride or die with. Having that one friend who's maybe not always on, but they're, they're always there for you or try to be, you know, when it matters. That person can make your life go from terrible to not so bad. Obviously, you can't really just summon, you know, a best friend out of thin air. It takes luck to find them, but if you can and you allow yourself to be vulnerable with them and it's, you know, all good. It's really great for you. I guess lastly is allowing yourself to engage in art and being able to post that on a small corner of the internet or world. Being able to post your art and just have it all in a small corner is really nice. But be careful, it's easy to get caught up in the numbers or the fame. Just remember that like views doesn't mean quality, it just means how much people have seen it. That, that's all it means. 
And I think the main thing that will help with letting go of apathy is also letting go of just your expectations of everything in general. It's way easier said than done, because as humans, we're built to expect and calculate things, that's just how we are. But by choosing to just let go and to not care about how good or bad something can or will be, it only leaves you open for being pleasantly surprised, or you know, just leaves you open to like nothing, like static, right? So yeah, that was my apathy video. I think it's pretty alright, it's 4.30am by the time I'm writing this, so yeah, I'm gonna end the video now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, sub if you want to, and kiss my ass on Twitter if you're feeling particularly subservient. I've been Tragedy TV, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Oh, do you fuck?